Muhammad was the prophet and founder of Islam and most of his early life was spent as a merchant. At the age 40 he began to have revelations from Allah that became the basis for the Quran and the foundation of the Islam. Prophet Muhammad have never proclaimed himself as a anything or anyone as God. There are over 1.8 billion Muslim in this world who profess there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his prophet. Muhammad was born around 570 AD in Mecca of Saudi Arabia. His father died before he was born and he was raised first by his grandfather and then by his uncle. He belonged to a poor but respectable family of the Quarry tribe. In his early teens, Muhammad worked in a camel caravan. Working for his uncle, he gained experience in commercial trade. In time, Muhammad earned a reputation as an honest and sincere person, acquiring the nickname Alamin, which means faithful or trustworthy. In his early 20s, Muhammad began working for a wealthy merchant woman named Khadija. Fifteen years his senior, she soon became attracted to this young accomplished and proposed for marriage. He accepted and over the years the happy union brought several children. Muhammad was also very religious, occasionally taking journeys of devotion to sacred sites of Mecca. One of his pilgrimages in 610 AD, he was meditating in a cave. In that time, the angel Jibrail appeared and relayed the words of God to him. Shia's tradition states, he welcomed the message for the angel Jibrail and was deeply inspired to share his experience to other potential believers. Soon, Muhammad began to gather a small following, initially encountering no opposition. Most people in Mecca either ignored him or mocked him as just another prophet. However, when his message condemned idol worship, many of the Mecca's tribal leaders began to see Muhammad and his message as a threat. Besides going against long-standing beliefs, the condemnation of idol worship had economic consequences for the merchants. Sensing a threat, makers, merchants and leaders offered Muhammad incentives to abandon his preaching, but he refused. Increasingly, the resistance of Muhammad and his followers grew and they were eventually forced to emigrate from Mecca to Medina. After the conflict with Mecca was finally settled, he delivered his last sermon at Mount Arafat. Upon his return to Medina to his wife's home, he fell ill for several days. He died on June 8, 632, at the age of 62.